Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a psychological science fiction film, Coherence. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts with a blonde woman named Blondie talking on her phone while driving in the middle of the night, but she loses signal and hears glass breaking. She checks her phone and sees a significant crack on her phone screen. Inside a house, a group of friends is preparing dinner. Blondie enters with a bottle of wine and interrupts their conversation. She quickly shares the incident about her phone screen randomly cracking while she's holding it and says it might be the effect of the comet, but the rest of the group brushes it off. A few moments later, the short-haired woman, nicknamed Short Hair, brings out a vial of drug that she claims will help take the edge off, but Blondie says she's okay. Short Hair notices a small plant and asks what kind of plant it is. The doorbell rings and Blondie's boyfriend arrives with a bearded man, nicknamed Messy Beard, who is Short Hair's husband. Blondie and her boyfriend talk about their plans for the future, and Mr. Bald enters the room with a dark-haired girl, nicknamed Dark Hair, who is the ex-girlfriend of Blondie's boyfriend. Messy Beard asks everyone if they have a signal on their phones at the dinner table. Everyone checks and confirms that they do not. Blondie and Messy Beard share stories about comet phenomena in Finland and how the people living in that area experienced peculiar things. Dark Hair asks the actor guy what he does for a living, and he shares that he's an actor, but no one seems to remember seeing him being on a show. Dark Hair proceeds to ask Blondie about her work, and Blondie shares a story about a ballet show she created, but she didn't get the lead part, because it took her too long to decide. After sharing this story, Blondie is quiet, and the actor seems upset about his friends not remembering him being on a TV show they enjoyed. We notice here that nobody at the table is happy with where their life is. After a few minutes of talking, Messy Beard brings out his phone, and sees his cracked screen, and Blondie shares that it also happened to her phone, and could be because of the comet passing, but everyone brushes it off. Messy Beard asks if the house has a landline or internet, because his physicist brother told him to reach out, if anything weird happens while a comet is passing. But they confirm that there's no signal or internet. Everyone laughs, but there's a concealed look of panic on everyone's faces. A few moments later, the lights go out. Everyone panics, and they scramble to find any source of light. They light the candles, and Mr. Bald puts boxes of glow sticks on the table, and everyone grabs a blue glow stick. Mr. Bald goes outside, and says that the whole street is out of power, except for a single house. The entire group steps out of the house to look at the only place with power, and they see the comet passing in the night sky. When they get back inside the house, they notice a broken glass on the table. Messy Beard suggests that he'll go over to the other house to ask if he can borrow their phone. Everyone disagrees, but Mr. Bald offers to go with him, so he won't be alone. While waiting for the two men to arrive, they all sit back down at the dinner table, and Dark Hair asks Blondie to share more information regarding comets to pass the time. A loud banging on the door disrupts their discussion. Blondie's boyfriend grabs a bat and checks the door, but no one is there. A short while later, the lights turn on, and the actor comes out and says he powered up the generator. Everyone cheers, and Short Hair suggests that they go out and look for her husband and friend. Blondie's boyfriend checks the door, and sees their two friends. When the two men enter, they quickly notice the scar on Messy Beard's head. Mr. Bald puts a metal box on the table, and says that Messy Beard was holding it when they were outside, but Messy Beard says he wasn't. Mr. Bald tells the story of what happened while they were outside. The actor slowly opens the box, inside are random items, and their pictures with numbers written at the back. Tension builds as the group questions Messy Beard about what he saw outside. Messy Beard hesitates, but tells the group that he went to the other house's window, and saw themselves having dinner. Nobody believes his smelly bullshit. Mr. Bald adds that Messy Beard went to the side of the other house, because nobody was answering the door, so he banged on the side door. The group remember when someone knocked on the door earlier, and claims that Messy Beard just walked around the house. Frustrated Messy Beard walks out of the room. At the table, Blondie and Dark Hair inspect the photos they found inside the box. Messy Beard says he's going back to the other house, his wife Short Hair stops him, but he insists that he must make a call. He sits at the table, and writes a note on a paper. The doorbell rings, so Blondie's boyfriend grabs a bat, and opens the door. He finds a note taped to their door. He starts to read it. Messy Beard looks up from the letter, wide-eyed. We see here that the note Blondie's boyfriend is reading, is the same note that Messy Beard is writing. This revelation shocks the group, because it confirms that Messy Beard was telling the truth all along. Inside the kitchen, Short Hair and the Glass Girl tend to Messy Beard's scar, and put a cloth band-aid on it. At the dinner table, Blondie and the group are trying to figure out what the numbers behind their picture means. 
Mr. Bald grabs his picture and says that someone took a picture of him that same night because his sweater is new. Everyone tries to figure out how he didn't know someone took his picture when he is looking directly at the camera. Confused, the group leaves the dinner table. Blondie and her boyfriend stay behind. Blondie compares the numbers on the photos to her notes written with a red marker and sees that they're identical. The group comes back, the actor proposes to go over to the other house to confirm if their other selves are there, but the group disagrees. After a few discussions, Blondie, her boyfriend Dark Hair, and the actor decide to check out the other house. Outside, the whole street is dark, and the only light they have is the blue glow sticks on their necks. While walking, the actor sees his house and goes over it, and as they are going back, they come across four people with red glow sticks around their necks. Back at the house, the four people who went out earlier tell the others what they saw when they walked back to the house, but Short Hair tells them that that's impossible. Blondie shares that a part of the street was darker than the rest, and Messy Beard and Mr. Bald say that they went through that. The group decides to do research, and Blondie asks for a book. In the corner, Messy Beard and Mr. Bald talk privately. Short Hair tells Messy Beard that his brother left a book, and it's in the backseat of his car. He goes and comes back with the book. He opens it up, and sees that it's his brother's research, about multiple parallel worlds existing at the same time. The group discusses all possible scenarios they can encounter. The actor suggests they take the other house's book, but Messy Beard disagrees, because they should avoid messing with the different worlds, and wait for the comet to pass. As the group continues their discussion, the actor and Blondie's boyfriend go to a corner, to prevent the other group from finding the other book. The actor suggests that he will blackmail his other self. Blondie's boyfriend tries to stop him, but he is determined. Back at the dinner table, the glass girl just woke up, and says she felt off from the drops. Blondie asks Short Hair if she put drugs in their food, everyone panics and starts questioning Short Hair, but she denies this, and shows the bottle. The group starts asking if one of the side effects would be hallucinations, still not believing they are other versions of themselves out there. The group leaves the kitchen, except for Short Hair, the glass girl, Blondie, and her boyfriend. Short Hair grabs the small plant, and says it looks great. Blondie looks at them, and remembers that this happened earlier, but this is the first time Short Hair sees the plant. In the dining room, alone, Mr. Bald and Messy Beard bring out their red glow sticks. They take the box and everything inside it, but the actor enters from the front door. Blondie's boyfriend intercepts the actor, and asks where he went. The actor says he went to the other house. While the two guys are talking, Mr. Bald and Messy Beard bolt out of the house. The group notices that Mr. Bald, Messy Beard, the box, and the books are all missing. They decide that someone has to look for their friends. Blondie's boyfriend volunteers, but Blondie blocks the door. Dark Hair watches the interaction with interest. The couple goes back to the group. Dark Hair suggests that the two men in the house could be the other version of their friends, and that they can't trust the other people from the other house, because they took their clues. The group disperses out of the room. Blondie asks the actor for a picture of her and her boyfriend, but he leaves to look for wine. When he comes back to Blondie, he hands her an envelope of photos. Blondie's boyfriend and Dark Hair are talking in the dark hallway. She subtly flirts with him and kisses him, but he backs away. However, at the other end of the hallway, Short Hair witnesses everything. Blondie is sitting at the dinner table, studying her notes in the other room. Short Hair sits down with her. After a few minutes, Blondie finds her boyfriend drinking, and tells him that Short Hair told her she saw him and Dark Hair in the hallway. But right then the power goes out. Everyone gathers at the table, and lights the candles. They hear a loud crash outside the house. They see that one of the cars has a broken window. Blondie goes to her car, and grabs a ring that her boyfriend got her inside a compartment. Blondie asks her boyfriend about the car's broken window, but he does not remember. They both realize that they are talking to different versions of each other. Blondie enters the house, and sees everyone already there. The group tries to figure out the motive for breaking a car's window. Something is outside the house, Dark Hair checks the door, and sees Mr. Bald and Messy Beard. Both men enter the house, Mr. Bald puts the missing book on the table, while Messy Beard tells them what happened. And while he's telling the story, everyone tells him that they already know this. Everyone confirms their theory that the first two men that arrived earlier, were not their friends, but the other people from the other house. Dark Hair points out the band-aid on Messy Beard's head, and the glass girl notices that the band-aid on Messy Beard's head is a different one. Mr. Ball dismisses the idea, and says they came from the house with red glow sticks, and pulls out their blue ones. Therefore, the group confirms that they're their friends. Blondie mentions the note as everyone reconciles, but Messy Beard says the other house also ended up with two letters. 
They all realize that there is not just one other version of themselves, but multiple. As a solution, Blondie proposes that they should have a way to mark their own house, and messy beer degrees. They grab some dice to mark themselves with numbers. They each take photos of themselves to label them with numbers, with corresponding items to put in a box. Mr. Bald has no picture, so they took a picture of him to put in the box. After they've all marked themselves with numbers using a dice, Blondie opens up her notes to compare the numbers. She's startled to see that her letters are now in green marker with different numbers. She looks up and sees that Messy Beard's phone is working. Because earlier she wrote the same note using a red marker, and Messy Beard's phone was cracked earlier during their dinner. She starts to wonder if she's in the right house. Blondie's boyfriend walks in. Someone knocks on the door and slips a note, and he grabs the note and reads it to the actor. They both remember their plan to blackmail the other version of the actor. Messy Beard grabs the note and reads it. It says that the actor slept with Messy Beard's wife, causing a fight between them. After the fight ends, Blondie and the actor stay in the room. The door opens, and another version of the actor with a green glow stick comes in, strangles the actor, and knocks him unconscious. After this, he runs out the door. Hearing the noise, the group comes back and sees the actor unconscious. While everyone is busy, Blondie slowly walks out the door. Outside, she walks down the street to peek through the different houses with different versions of themselves. Most are fighting amongst each other. She continues to search in the dark. After a few houses, she sees a version of their group just having fun and herself with her boyfriend on a couch together. Seeing this, Blondie feels hurt and extremely jealous of their happiness in a different world. After that, she walks toward the side of the house and finds a bat. She enters the kitchen door and steals short hair's drug vial. Inside the house, the other versions hear a loud glass breaking noise. They all decide to go out to check. The other version of Blondie walks to her car and grabs the ring, but Blondie knocks her unconscious using the vial of the drug she stole. She leaves her other self in the car and enters the house with the other versions of the friends. She then shows the ring to her boyfriend and he kisses her. Later, they go outside and watch the comet pass by. While the others are busy outside, Blondie sees the other version of herself enter the bathroom. She hits her on the head and knocks her out immediately. She then grabs the other girl's ring, puts it on her finger, and wipes away the blood in the bathroom, leaving her original ring by the sink. However, when she returns to the room, she passes out. She wakes up later on the couch in the morning. She quickly checks the bathroom, but see short hair has just finished showering without any trace of the hidden body. She goes out to the street, but her boyfriend follows her and returns the found ring. Right then, he gets a call and sees that it's Blondie calling him. Confused, but he still answers the call. The boyfriend realizes that the Blondie in front of him is not his familiar version of Blondie. In the end, as this group of friends have been brought across multiple worlds, they learn they should not mess with the universe's coherence, as this can have very permanent consequences. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.